Hey guys, got Christian out here again with more Lego Indiana Jones 2, and it's a let's play. Forgot about that part. Anyways, in the last episode, I finished up hub the story missions for Hub 1 of <laughs> Kingdom of Crystal Skull, and as you can see, I'm starting with a brand new box because it's the second hub of Crystal Skull. So before anyone starts complaining or anything, how I'm gonna do the start of this LP is that I'm gonna burn through all the story missions first. So I'm not going to go back into any of the uh, previous movies, or any of the previous movies I've done, rather, until I've completed all the story missions for the movies. So yeah, you can see, like, this cutscene here kind of connects part one and part two. But yeah, basically I'm doing this because there's a lot of stuff that you can't do until you complete the story mode missions, or whatever. So, yeah, I figure I might as well get them out of the way beforehand, so, you know, they don't become a liability afterwards. Now, for part two, we start out this little airfield. We have a vehicle right here that we can purchase off the bat, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to save that for later, because it's not an essential vehicle. And I'm going to try and uh, <laughs> forbid myself from hitting any more stuff, because I made that mistake in the last hub. But now we're going to start with the first mission of part two, which is Perusel Perusal. I hope I got that right. So yeah, from what I can understand, I'm in a mental hospital or something in Peru. And those guys are... Oh, whoa! Holy crap! <laughs> what was that thing? Oh great, she's made them crazier. This is perfect. Nom nom! <laughs> okay, this is- Oh, what the hell? She just leaves me for lost or something? Ugh. Whatever. So yeah, this is a uh, exploration mission, so yeah, really- there's, There is no enemies in this course either, so you don't really have anything to worry about. Just a bunch of stuff. Um, here's a fan here that you can use your whip thing, but all that's for is just to get these studs here and provides a nice, fun little ride. <laughs> so, um, I suppose this course isn't very hard to get the, the true adventurer on it, but knowing me, I probably won't get it nonetheless, because, like I said, it's not an essential thing for me. Anyways, this blue, sparkly, smoky thing is obviously a repair item, so I'm gonna have to have Mutt fix that. Which does something. I'm guessing it has to be said switch over there or something, I don't know. But yeah, we tug on this and that allows that to go back up. And then we'll have mud go through here and knock it on the rope. <laughs> and then push these boxes underneath the gate, allowing us to continue. <laughs> they sound funny. So here's a bit of a tricky part and a clever part here too. You'll notice that these um, inmates or whatever, these uh, patients, have items and they send them out in front of the door but when you get close to them they run back and take it so what you gotta do is you use your whip park the item and there you go simple as that so yeah the other guy has some water bottles or yeah so you really you really don't need that because there's no fire in this place just a bunch of studs and whatnot so yeah the key allows us to enter this room here and this room is actually the final room of the course already so yeah we're already at the end of this level <laughs> Well, what did I do? Okay, obviously I triggered something. Oh, but it's on a switch. Okay. <laughs> and item was on top of that switch, and obviously it does this. And so, um, let's see. Alright, this thing doesn't break, so what do I do? Oh, wait. Oh, I'm an idiot. That thing's... There's a tile floor there, so obviously I push it. Duh. Jeez, I'm supposed to be the Lego expert here, and I'm already... Oh, that was... That was a bad moment. <laughs> Anyways, this little puzzle here at the center here is um, the major goal of this. Yeah. So yeah, in order to continue, get the whip to get that thing, and then obvious whip switch, so we'll go ahead and do that. Yeah, these the rats won't hurt you, and I, as far as I know, neither of the characters have phobias to them, so there's really nothing to worry about. Um, they, they are a tiny bit annoying, but you can really go without killing them at all. Alright, so... Here's the tricky part of the puzzle here, getting to the third part. You have to bounce on this bed, and you'll see like a few items start spinning out, and you have to keep bouncing on it until the um, all the pieces are buildable, like they start, you know, bouncing off the floor and all that. And like, that that one part always tricked, tripped me up whenever I did this course, because I was wondering, how the hell do I continue? And then like, I just randomly start bouncing on the bed, and like, oh, that's how. And yeah, that's probably the one major trip up of this course here. But yeah, once you do that, gets you the last piece of that puzzle, and then you just go on top of it, and there you go, course complete. 
See, yeah, Mud's caring about his hair. There's a nap! Mm. Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> his hair looks ridiculous. Oh wait, what's going on now? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Obviously, he cares about his hair a lot. Mm. Alright, so yeah, now that that's over with. So yeah, pretty easy mission here, and yeah. Yeah, another reason why I'm not buying things off the bat is that um, later on, in like some of the later hubs, like some of the characters and vehicles that you unlock are like ridiculously expensive. Like I know in the third part of Crystal Skull, like two of the characters that you can buy are both one million studs, and as you can see, I'm nowhere near that number. So, um, there's a few things we can do here. Um, there's, the green hour points to the ground for some reason, but, um, getting off that for a sec. Pull that switch and you can use this gate. Now you can go in between, like, the first and second missions. And anyway, speaking of the second mission, the green arrow obviously points downward, so obviously we have to do something to trigger unlocking it. And the secret is to go over here and there's another whip switch. Or, uh, they're not really switches, more like, the uh, handles or something. And inside this shit is a shovel! So obviously we're going to be digging. And so you can see where you need to dig just by the sparkle alone. Just dig in the general area. And the dirt will go down a little bit each time you dig, and obviously you get a few studs for doing this. This only happens once though, since you know, you're know you accessing the mission for the first time. So yeah, you can't do this over and over again because it's already done for you. And it was a four times charm, and now we can access whatever this place is, which I believe the name is called Tomb Doom. So, the second level, the last level, um, last movie was uh, Doom Town, and now we're in Tomb Doom. Oh, holy crap! His comb was a vampire! A combpire! Or something, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just gonna be quiet. So, yeah, this is actually another exploration mission as well, so. And, um,. A bit of a clarification, uh, like I said before that there are like specific types of missions, and like when I mean that, like there are like four or five different types of missions, and yeah, what I meant by that is that that only really applies to story missions, so um, there are actually two other types of uh, major missions, like story mode is the first type of mode, but there are two other modes that you'll see in this movie, or in each movie rather, and um, yeah. And yeah, the different times really only apply to the story uh, levels. Uh, the other two, they pretty much follow the ex almost the exact same path, so... I'll, I'll explain that once I get to it, but... First of all, get through these story things. Uh, that is an unnecessary thing to do, but it gets you uh, two blue studs and a purple stud, so that's 12,000 easy studs. Uh, destroying that uh, skeleton guy gets us a shovel. <laughs> How appropriate, we're grave digging. <laughs> And we'll go down this vine. Uh, we don't need to go to the left here real quick, and there's a trap there anyway, so who really cares? Anyways, we'll go down here, and obvious uh, wood thing, and oh my god, more assassin guys, or whatever. I think they're called Uga assassins or something, I don't know, I, I forget. We're in Peru, or something, I really don't know, I really do need to watch the movie. Because <laughs> I'm a bumbling idiot right now. I swear to you, once we get back to the original three movies, then I'll start sounding more like a, an appropriate Indiana Jones aficionado. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, repairing stuff, yay! So yeah, you see, you really see here in this movie how like the blue objects are the pretty much the sign that says "repair me" or something. So yeah, uh, door unlocks and. Uh, we can use the shovel that we picked up real quick to dig up this little thing that we actually need downstairs. So, it's good that we get it out of the way. It's this weird skull... thing. <laughs> I don't know. But, yeah, those arrows are pointing, so obviously we put whatever this thing is there. And there is a reason to do this, because when we... Yeah, in order to continue, we have to get to that vine, but you see... Uh, when we try getting there, the thing shifts, like, it's basically a giant seesaw, and it basically shifts position, so we need to way down one side in order to get to that vine, and the way to down, we have to use these two skull things here, so how convenient for us. So yeah, oh, well, there wasn't a vine before, I guess. <laughs> I was getting confused by those studs. But yeah, now we can reach this vine and get this stuff here, and yeah, so we'll go across here now. Alright, so in this uh, thing, there are some scorpions, which can hurt you, so go ahead and kill them first. <laughs> what the hell was that? 
He just tried to attack us too. I guess it was a zombie or something. I don't know. But anyways, he gave us a spear, we could, which we could use to do that spear hole thing. Or, I don't know. And it was in this area there are three of these little blue things that we gotta destroy in order to get these things to build here. You don't have to destroy them completely, you just have to hit them once. But if you want studs, uh, you're gonna have to kill them. Obviously. So yeah, the first one down here, the third one we have to use the spear to get to. And uh, just clear out this little way here, and there we go. There's the third thing. So just, yeah, fall down, and we'll put that there, we'll build it, and then something happens. I don't know. Alright, and inside is what appears to be a crystal skull! Oh my god, what a shock! I could not expect that. Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, and I find a crystal skull, and who's that guy? Whoa, hey, he took my thing! <laughs> awesome delayed reaction there, too. <laughs> they were like, uh, what's going on? Holy crap! Anyways, now we're gonna chase after this guy, and obviously he has 10 hearts, so obviously we're gonna beat him to a lift pole, but first we gotta chase him. So yeah, there's really no way to catch up to this guy, and there are no enemies that try and stop you either, but... Yeah, this guy, he's invulnerable until you get to a certain point, and I'm gonna wait till that trap to spring before I do anything, and... Yeah, more scorpions. Alright, you can see Mutt is actually afraid of scorpions, so we get to introduce to Phobia, but... Oh yeah! A true adventurer! Finally got my first one after how many courses? Six? This is my sixth one, actually. Yeah, true adventure I've already described before. Just get enough studs and you get the title. Anyways, we go up here and holy crap, that's a lot of scorpions. So, we see an interesting mechanic here again, too. How the crystal skull is actually keeping these uh, creatures at bay. You'll notice how Mutt is actually dying or something because he's inside the middle of that mess. But basically all you really have to do is wait for that guy to heft up that crystal skull and then whack him with whatever you got. Uh, if you try, like, going for a combo or something, though, it won't work. He'll, like, be invulnerable until you get to that specific motion or whatever. <laughs> and poor Mutt's just dying over and over again. <laughs> Alright, so the guy drops the crystal skull and we'll pick it up before we die again. And so you see now how the scorpions are avoiding us, or they should be avoiding us. And so we'll now just go through this door and leave with our treasure and look that. Fear my power. <laughs> Let's go. So yeah, I'll talk about phobias later because they don't really apply at this point, but yeah. So anyways, that's the end of the second mission or story level. What uh, I need to get my English straight. Anyways, um, I think this is about as much as I can get into the video. So this is Gary Christian I with Let's Play Lego Nina Jones 2. In the next episode, I will continue Hub 2 Crystal Skull. Oh my god, am I getting attacked again? Seriously, can I please end the video properly or something? Jeez. Wait, why can't I go? Oh, okay. <laughs> there we go.